let's take a look at the mix bus. So I have two hardware inserts on this mix. I'm using a pair of Rupert Neve Design shelfer channels. Um, but essentially, it's just the blue silk. I'm not EQing and compressing this one at all. Um, and then that's followed by the 19-inch uh, rack version of the Dramatic Obsidian Compressor. Um, it's a fantastic stereo bus compressor. It's a VCA, similar to the SSL style. Um, it's a slow attack, fast release, like two to one ratio. I'm not getting much more than three to four dB of gain reduction on that. Um, I will say what I like about the one I have, it's an earlier serial number. So sonically, it's um, it's pretty cool. It's It's got some mojo to it. Um, I love the newer ones as well. So if you get one that's a newer serial number, I think the serial number I have is like 23 or something like that, which, um, you know, I didn't stand in line or anything for that. I just found it on Reverb, and that's what it was. <laughs> so um, great compressor. Um, so then after compression, I'm hitting the mix bus with um, Chandler Curve Bender. So as you can see, I'm adding about a dB and a half at 16K, just some top end. And then um, I'm cutting a little at 300, not much, just a dB, just some general shaping. And then I'm adding a dB at 50. I've got a high pass at 20 hertz. Um, and that's it for, uh, for the EQ here. And then, again, I feel like I'm cheating, but sometimes I'll grab a mix from, like, my favorite mixer. And I don't mean, like, grab, like, steal. Buy it off iTunes, bring it into my session, see what the EQ, you know, a song that's similar, see what's happening. Sometimes I'll play with this um, amount percentage, which in this case is 40. I just liked it, so I left it. Um, it feels like cheating, but hey, no no wrong way to eat a Reese's, right? So um, there we go. Um, into the linear phase multiband by Waves. This is one of the earliest plugins I've ever bought. So... Um, I went to school at Berkeley College of Music. I did their uh, one of the first waves of their online courses, which is really fantastic. Um, the curriculum was still really similar to what happens on campus. Um, but either way, I had to buy plugins for my MP&E like, education. And this linear phase multiband was in that. Um, so outside of the curve bender and the EQ match, uh, which, you know, you don't really see what's happening there. Let's check out what's happening um, with the Lin MB as we play the song. Not much, right? That low mid band is popping off when uh, the snare hits. Other than that, it's pr pretty pretty straightforward. That's the multi electro mastering um, preset. That one just always sounded great to me. Um, that takes us into the Oxford Inflator. I mean, come on, this thing. I know a lot of people that hate it, but I love it. I can't live without this thing being on my mixes. Just put the effect at 100%. Watch your output gain. Um, yeah. There you go, Oxford Inflator, just rules. Um, and then lastly, um, I probably this I probably don't have to say this, but I used to have a Bax EQ that uh, for whatever reason I just felt like I could use the plugin. I did some A/B test, and I didn't find that the hardware was different enough for me to keep, um, you know, limited I/O that sort of thing. Um, especially I have Atmos in my room now, so my I.O. is pretty jammed. But either way, so um, I'm adding 2 dB at 74 hertz, and then I'm adding 4 dB at 7.1 K. Um, and then I've got a high-pass cut at 18 
hertz. Um, and that's the Bax EQ. It's kind of like a finishing EQ, I would say. And then NLS um, that I've been mentioning, that's like nothing is happening, all mix, which is true. So here's the bus version of that. And you can see in the VCA groups, I'm not turning any of these up. Um, but this is a cool effect. Like you could go and dial some high end and some saturation here uh, on your overall mix. But that essentially is the uh, the mix bus processing. 